Flip. No, the maps are purposely, they purposely shrink Africa down. They make America look bigger and Russia look bigger than in Africa. Check this out. It's what can fit into Africa. Look, 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 look at this. The United States, China, look at this. India. Look at this. Look, look what can fit into Africa. Look at this. Look at it. And they got Africa. They, they just, I mean, white supremacy, boy. Woo, you motherfuckers are some. That's bullshit. That's straight bullshit. Yes, that's bullshit. Educated, wealthy black men talking like that. So the white man done concocted a way, and, and y'all ain't even from Africa. Y'all are, are Americans. But somehow the white man is concocted a, a way in which to display the continent of Africa in, 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 a, in a much minimal way to accomplish what, ladies and gentlemen? So, yeah, it is a Eurocentric, it is a Eurocentric map. It came at, uh, came after colonialism was started. I mean, what exactly is he trying to, I don't know how he's trying to argue the map isn't Eurocentric. The map is most definitely Eurocentric. What, what, what are they accomplishing? To make black people look bad? Yet black people flourish in these white countries. The, the, the biggest flourishment of white, black people, the most wealthy black people, you know, when I say per capita or in large, is in America and Europe and in, in, in these white places. There it is. There it is. He thinks white countries are the best thing to happen to black people. There's only a few countries in Africa where you see tremendously wealthy people. There's only a few countries. You talking about the continent? And if it was so good to you, why y'all don't move there? I know, we all know. We all know why you don't move there. You got enough money to live there. Y'all can actually go down there and build some stuff. But you, you know, you love living in the white man country because the white man country is civilized. Okay. The white man country is civilized. Okay. This is the mentality of the black conservative deep at the core. I mean, he hit all the points in this one video. He was triggered by one video. And then a lot of civilized countries in, in Africa are, are, are uh, being influenced by Europe. Okay. So why is Africa countries in Africa being influenced by Europe. Like he wants to acknowledge the fact that Africa is being influenced by Europe, but ignore the history of colonialism and enslavement. It's incredible. It's incredible how they jump from they cherry pick. And this is the classic Thomas Sowell. This is classic Thomas Sowell cherry picking certain information, leaving out certain information. Okay. Let me go on. And, and I can't explain why Africa doesn't do well with their resources. I, I can't explain it. I don't know. I don't. I... Yeah, because you're not versed in history. You don't care to learn history. So obviously you don't know. Of course you wouldn't know. But that's why you need people like me uh, to correct you and check you. That is just the color of somebody's skin. I think it's godlessness. They don't retain. They, they hadn't historically retained Jesus Christ in their consciousness. And I feel like that that's where the problem lies. So here we go. So uh, Officer Tatum, he's a Christian. Um. So, yeah, let's get into this. Let's get into this. It ain't got much to do with the color. It's like where there's no God, where there's no salvation in Christ, it, it, I feel like things go down, go down the wayside. Another one, another one, another one, another one. Okay, so this idea that things go down the wayside without God, but um, when you look at, you know, Catholicism, he's a Catholic, he's a Christian. I shouldn't say Catholic, but he's a Christian. But if you look at what's been going on in the church, with the with the boys and the priests and how they cover it up isn't that godlessness isn't children being abused godlessness isn't children being abused and the perpetrators not facing consequences godlessness and this is not any attack at anybody who may be christian that's not what i'm trying to do but i'm just trying to show you the extent of black conservatism because Conservatism at the core is um, does have Christianity as a religion. They use Christianity to guide a lot of their decision making. So this idea of godlessness, this is now another point that he wants to throw out there. But I mean, there's godlessness within the church as well. The Pope, a Pope, the Vatican sanctioned enslavement. Wasn't that godlessness? But of course, he's not going to mention that. He's not going to mention all the negative effects of Christianity onto the continent. You know, so I could go on all day, but it's interesting. This is this is the core. There's so many different points, even touching on religion as well, too. He has the trust God shirt right over here. Now, forget the little square here. I'm going to scroll this anyway. Just a, just a little documentation. I could put the link. They make you subscribe, which is a headache. But it's a lot of explanation in this article about why they draw it a certain way. Because it's not easy 
to make this different countries proportional without a, without a tremendous distortion of the country's shape. And so it's not that easy. Now, this is called an equal earth map, which is the map that they've now introduced or they've uh, built out to make it a little more fair and make it look a little more reasonable. You go down here to the Mercator app, uh, the Mercator map, it makes Iceland and all these other places look tremendously big. It makes Russia look, look huge and it makes Africa look small. Now you can see the difference. Do I think that this is somehow the white man trying to hurt the black man? I mean, this map, these maps were created in 1569. 1569. I mean, what kind of technologies do we have now and what kind of proportional maps can we do now that we couldn't do way back then when they created it? Because nobody thinks of this except black folks in America. Now, again, cherry picking information, call it again. So now he wants to say that because of technology, we have new ways to create the map. So let me just show you the Gail Peters projection. Let me go back here. The Gail Peters projection is a rectangular equal area map projection. Like all equal area projection, it it distorts most shapes. It is a cylindrical, cylindrical, cylindrical equal area projection with latitudes 45 north and south as the regions on the map that have no distortion. Um, let's see here. The projection is named after James Gall and Arnold Peters. Gall described the projection in 1855. So let's take a look at the map, right? So he said due to technology, we have ways to redo the map, but 1855, we had a more accurate depiction of the world map. So of course, here we go with the black conservatives, cherry picking information is what they do best. <laughs> 